What are you going to do now? May as well hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Make it quick. What's that for you, dear? It'd last you a good while. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Last you a good while. That it? <clears throat> Fine. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Ah, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumours all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it.
this time. Perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. You know what to do. Oh. 
is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! Who goes there? This one's a deserter! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice! Over here. Too slow. Sick of Torgal. Get him, boy! You know what to do, boy! Sick of Torgal! Situation. You're late! Gaff's in trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail! We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. You know what to do. Sick of Torgo! You know what to do, boy! Sick of Torgo! There, boy! Die, you bastard! I think that hurt me, but it hurt him. Sorry, lad. Don't know how much help I'm gonna be here. You know what to do, boy. All right. One down, one to go. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy.
could these bastards fly? But what goes up must come down. Bloody time waster. Come on, let's finish him off. Get him. Get him, boy. Come on. There. Ah. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes... There's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, I well, am.
No birds returning this year. The Deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Are? Your friend! Ah. She's awake! Right. Ugh. Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Or someone doesn't. It's true, then. It really is you. It is. Life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men, and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominants. What? Oh, 
What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night... The hooded man, he... He spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. Let's get this fixed before someone doesn't... We're looking at half a dozen. Give for some wild Mickey berries. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to... I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. Scratches, right? And how am I meant to do that then? It did last you a good while. Is that it? 
fun. Yes? What? If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. Mine's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either? I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Thanks to you. 
We should press on. That in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. finished building the bridge then after what happened at Phoenix Gate it didn't seem the highest priority Oi! here you couldn't give me an hand could you typical a bloody bearer and just when I thought my luck had changed still better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand I suppose Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was funny late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. rest that's one of our branded do we take him in he's not one of ours look it's with his master are you the stable master I was asked to deliver this to you This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? 
He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal Greens, no doubt. Crowned with him, if I know him. Gizal Greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. We get travelers and merchants aplenty through here. Enough to keep me busy, as for certain. Rest now. You barely have to step out your front door these days. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Bull, leaving them in the park. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Keep them nice and fresh. Anything catch your eye? Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an Imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have... happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him and make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. 
He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. <laughs> 